what's up? It's your boy JQ. I have another my antics on Ness Vortex Ness. Now this video is a little different from the last video I did. This one um wasn't a giveaway. I bought this my own money, and um I decided to um I want to try them all. My subscribers, I want y'all to see um every Ness he has more down pack. Get to it a little different than he does. So I wanna show you I wanna show you another my antics nest that I bought my own money and um you can see already the color is already changing. I had it for about five minutes already and the color is starting to change just for right there in the back angle. So the changing color is actually pretty cool on this nest is what really caught my attention. I'm pretty sure this is why you guys are watching this on um, review. And um this one or two Get a little bit more down pack and show you guys how it's like if y'all want to buy one. All means go buy one. I don't get no cut for making this on the video for y'all. This is something I enjoy doing and um, just so y'all can just see from a different point of view. So it came with it came with Outworld and um and it came with these two tubings to connect from each side. So I'm assuming I'm not so sure, but he upgraded my um Outworld to the new style. So the 2.0 outworld he has going. It's a little different from um his old style. The old style has a sand style going on. And um which is still nice. I actually like the style a lot because and it came in a little package like this inside. So if you buy it, it's gonna all gonna come like this. And it can be wrapped up and your accessories will be in here. Put this inside. So the outworld just check a look at it. It's pretty nice. It has a nice blue. Got like, kind of like an art design in the back. I don't know what it's made of. It's pretty, like it's pretty thick. It might be some kind of paint or some type of... I don't know. It's a nice little design he has going. You know, I thought I'd share that. If, I like blue a lot, so I really like the design. And what I like about his nest is he has these plugged up things to the side. That plug up to each side. If you attest to, which is pretty good addition. And... And um yeah, pretty nice. So there you go, that's the outworld, really nice. And that's gonna go like so and and there you go, this is the the Mayan Tech Vortex next. And the ray starting to glow starting to um not glow, it's the ray starting to change colors and this opens us up really quick. So when you get your package from this bag gonna come out it's gonna be a nice little um back like this, happy face, good vibes, and um this is what you get. You get our critic last, you gotta take off, you get two tubes, you get the vortex cover, you get and I believe this is the this is the kit he has with the, with the connecting stuff. And you get a fear, a green one, pretty nice to match the nest. I like it. And you get these two connectors. These are like I, I believe he has in the video. I, I, he has a connecting with a test tube like this each side. So you could give your economy some extra water or if you want to give them water or you want to give them some honey water or whatever y'all want to do. And let me unwrap this really quick so I can show you guys. So there you go. He actually upgraded his glass from the Shark A um satellite nest, he calls it. And the shot the satellite nest, Shark A nest, had more of a plastic material, which I didn't really like that much. I guess he just saw that video and saw that all oh, well I don't know, maybe maybe I never had this nest before, so I don't know. So maybe it always was like this, I don't know, but he definitely got some glass kind of material. I don't know what type of glass this might be like archaic glass or Temper. I don't know what type of glass it is. It's not temper glass. It's temper glass will crack. But it's probably some kind of archaic glass or some type of glass. And I like this a lot. More it looks more professional than the uh, than the um archaic plastic glass he had before. So that's gonna go like so. And um, let me open this really quick. So to get more deep in this, these are your tunnels. So the, the point of this nest, as I said before, you're going to want to get a starting colony about 
15 workers at least. But if you could feed your colony in the test tube, that would be the best bet you could do. Do that as long as possible to get about 30, 40, then put them something like this. But if you can't wait, the whole thing with, about this nest is um you could put a, start, a foundation colony about 15 workers, maybe 10. And um the point is they're going to come in from ear, ear size and they're going to come in this way. It'll go around like that and find their way through this one, come inside here, and can go inside the foundation nest circle. This would be their little foundation enclosure nest they'll be in. So that's the idea with this. And um, this is the inside. Really nice. And you're going to fill up your water to hit the black line when you fill it up. And um, there you go. Nice little um, oh yeah, and the plastic the the arc that arc crit the um, the three D printing on this these nests are pretty well made. They very they're pretty thick. I say about half an inch thick. So there's not no nothing cheap quality. It's high quality arc crit. I don't know arc high crit high quality three D nest. And um, this is how it looks inside. And um, this is your um, back and it's the mesh that has. No ants are going to escape from this nest. So pretty small. And um, this has some clicking stuff you see right there. And then the clicking, this little knob right there, you're going to match both. And then you're going to go like that. And it's going to click like so until you get that clicking sound. And it has those little lines right there. And that's, that's for... um. And that's for your key cable, which it came off because I was messing with this. So that will go like like so. And that will go bit that back down like that. And you can tell even the size of my handprint was starting to heat up. I honestly like the green one better. I feel like the green one heats up quicker with the, with the, with the material shines more with the heating, heating source. It'll change color quicker. I feel like it changes color quicker with the... With the Real one, and then the other one he had. So, the other one, I, I did the black one, I did like this, where they might come off. The black one seems more, more, more stuck to it, so if you go like that, it could come off. But with the green one, you gotta be careful, which you actually could glue it together, or you could put some blue tack if you don't want to glue it together if you want to clean in the future. So I would definitely put some blue tack or something. Or if you have it closed, it's, it shouldn't be a problem. No ants should be able to escape. So I don't think any ants are going to escape out of this nest, which I hope not. And I don't see no way they're going to escape. Just for y'all seeing the video as is. All right, so I just hooked this up, and I just connected everything. And um, the way this actually goes, um, you could have it like this on, on the floor if you don't have. You can have it like this if you want. And um, you see how the test tubes connect. This will put your water, or you could put honey water, or you could do the same, the opposite, put two waters or two honey waters, whatever you want to do, whatever, you, whatever the case is. And the system will be like this. The water being here, the changing color momentum is already happening already. You would open this up, you put water, like so on, and um, your ants would go through this little tunnel system, as you can see. That tunnel system and they'll move around. It's not a, it's not a small system he has going. It's more of a bigger bigger concept. But I'm assuming your ants will like it more, so they can discover new lands. So for that case, it's pretty good. You know, it makes sense. I like what you guys going. And um, what I would do, I think I see why he has it on a level because his outworld is more down. And the nest is more higher, as you can see. So you want to have this set up like this. Give it a level because when you have it down, it's kind of like I showed you before. It just doesn't fit right. So this type of this type of nest, it gotta be on a slant hill like how he has how he has it set up in his video. But you could have it in the floor on the table if you like. But I feel like it works better like this on a slant, as you can see. You know, which is a nice little system he has going, you know, very nice. And um it's nice, it's pretty cool. So this is the way you should you should have your yourself hooked up. This is the best way to do it. 
and you just get a cardboard box or whatever and that's what looks fine for you and this will just close off like so and you can already see this heating up I have this off for a while but it's already starting to you see it's already starting to change colors and I'm pretty sure once you have it longer it's gonna change color more more temperature will go around it and you'll see the color changing way more effective and um it fits perfect with the heat cable, like the purple edition. Yeah. Me personally, I like the green. I like the blue outworld. It looks very nice. And definitely a nest to check out and buy. I believe Captain Nuts do well on other species he has. But if you like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Definitely a nest to pick up. If you like the video, like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate it. And this is the Vortex Nest for my antics. Please like and subscribe. Check out my channel. Check out his channel. You already know. If you don't know, and um, go on his website. He has them for sale.